this could be the biggest game of co Thomas Gordon's coaching season as they face the number one team in the country, in the nation. Nio State is at home against the Roof Bears, who are three and five, by the way. And um, you guys might be wondering why blue is coming in the black, even though their normal color is blue, light blue and yellow. It's because they have so similar uniforms, they have to wear something different. So here we are, week nine. Can Nile State hold the seven and one and go to eight and one? Let's find out. Here we go. As Ruth, I mean, as Nile State will kick it off. And by the way, if you haven't noticed, Pierre King is out for this game. So they don't, they're, they're doing this game without one of their best receivers. As here it is, Chris Country looking as he will throw first down Zion Lounge. Wow, pretty, pretty good first play to start off against the number one team in the country. As Emik gets nothing on the first run of the game. Here it is, second and long, as they will drop back. He will throw it to Elon Folston for first down. Their passing game is pretty good. So that's what Niles has to watch out for, as this could be potentially a good game. Niles State's actually projected to win this by 24. So that was nearly intercepted. Nice defense coverage by the Niles State defense. And they know what they have to do to walk away with another win, as Chris Coundry will take it. And that will be a good game, partially. They switch up the play and throws it to Elon Falston for another first down. Breaks tackles! Step for the man! Elon Falston! Getting it at the red zone! 37 yards for a first down. They came to play. They came to play. Thomas Gordon has his boys ready for this game. They are coming to play. And they are still contenders for division leader. They handed it off to Emique for a good game of five yards. It's at the 15 yard line. Second and five. They hand it off again to Emique. It's a negative one. The defense strikes again. And this is a career high for negative yards in a season for Nile State. As that one inside the two yard line for Zion Lounge. Good play, reading the defense, waiting to throw it back in the pocket, Ign ignores the pressure. He's got hands and he's got an arm. As they hand out to Emik, Jerry for nothing. Defense trying to do something. As they will hand it off again. This time another negative play. The most negative yards in Nile State. Uh, no, most negative yards in Nile State season as we're not even we're almost we're just halfway in the season Looking defense again. It's a sack <laughs> No way <laughs> Pretty good as Shocking enough they were going for this And a weak gets the ball for a roof touchdown The Bears strike first Wow. As their new kicker, who they just got, puts up his first points of his career. As he was a former Nio State backup kicker. So, this is pretty ironic. As Nio State, who has not, who has never, this season has not went a drive without scoring. And that does not change here as they get another touchdown. Here it is. Almost done with the first quarter. As they will take it back to the 20. Around the 22 yard line. It's actually the 23 yard line. And the second quarter is underway for Ruth Bears. As they take it here, and it'll be a two yard gain at the 25 yard line for Emi Jerry. Yeah, has not seen that big play so far. I got that 37-yard catch for Elon Falston. That one's 12 as he gets a first down. Here it is. And Meek Jerry said he wants to come in this game with a big run. At least 20-yard run, but that one's only going for four. Second down. Doesn't throw it. 
doesn't you never want to throw it until you're not sure of it and that is a first down Country tucking himself for a first down. That's the exact move he's going to make as a quarterback. Look, you can't see it, pocket? Then go ahead and run for it. And he runs for it like a dual threat quarterback that needs to be playing as a starter. As he started up as a backup to Loaf, who is still on the team. You got to double out to Emik Jerry, who actually tipped it and gets a first down. Wow, a broken play into something. Look, he doesn't see any of his wide receivers as Pierre King's on the option today. So he breaks a tackle and gets the first down. He said the kicker still got range. And their new kicker can kick a little bit far. And that's another catch for Elon Falston. Look, Niles they came into this game hoping that this team only runs the ball. No, they can throw. They can throw. And that's a three yard. Yeah, and look, you cannot have any turnovers against this team. They're pretty good. I'm gonna handle all the pressure. Emig Jerry! 10 yards, first down. Inside the red zone. Look, Emig Jerry is a great running back. You, they're so blessed to have him. As here it is. We'll run it. Escapes. Four yards. Second and six. Take it to the outside for some yards as he gets three on the play. Emig Jerry inside the five. Can they get a first down here? Checking out the play a bit. He will take it himself. First down. They say it's a first down. Emig Jerry first and goal. At the one yard line. Takes it. Touchdown. The Bears strike again. As you know, it's just a simple handoff. He's got there in the pocket. And that's where this team can win a potential game. As the kick is up and good. Still has not missed a PAT today as they usually miss about one per game. Now he'll say drives on the field. Scores with six seconds to go. And now he'll say gets ball at half. So this is not good for a team who only needs one turnover to lose. As it's thrown and caught. But that will wrap up the half. We'll see you guys later.
Hello, everybody. Back at the second half of the game. Let's see if Roof can hold off. Now, so driving on the field, of course, they can't hold off this amazing offense for a touchdown for the, for the Queens right here. Here it is. Back up, kick return, take the knee. And yes, I don't have Pierre King, so this is going to be tough to do as what they're going to do in the second half. They're picking off where they left off. First down, Zion Lounge. Here it is. You just got to keep comfortable in this game, and you could potentially walk away with a victory as Country look willing to take it for himself. He won't get free as last time he gets five. Here it is. Hands off to Unique, who is not the best running back, but can get you some yards as his longest rush is a 42-yard run. You never want to throw in double coverage. He sucked. And um, you have no defense. I think you're going for it. Looking to throw. What? Elon Boston. Amazing. I thought that was going to be intercepted for sure. Double coverage. But he puts it right where it needs to be. In past midfield. Gonna throw it. Caught. Let his man. Inside the 30 out of bounds for a 20 yard gain. And now and Niall say having trouble. You never throw in double coverage. Good. You're lucky it's incomplete. If that was picked off, you're t you're, they're going to take it back for six. Dumps it off to Emig Jerry who dropped it. Now it's starting long. Here it is looking to throw. Just going to throw it up there to the backup wide receiver who's replacing Pierre King. First down. Wow. Unreal. Emig Jerry taken to the outside. Makes man's miss. Breaks a tackle. Seven yards. Inside the 10 yard line. Second three. First down. First and goal. At the two yard line. This is pretty good for this. And that's a one yard gain. And he's at the two yard line. And they're going to throw it. It's a design QB draw. Negative two. Good defense on that play. Looking. Got his man Emik again for another touchdown for him today. As I think that's his second touchdown for today. Emik Jerry can. Wow, they did so much to keep themselves in this game. They were projected to lose like 24 points. And here they are, striving with the number one team in the country. Here it is, Nile State. And they will score again. There's still a minute, two minutes, second clean on the clock. So you should drain this clock. Try to take this game to overtime and see what you can do. Because your defense cannot hold. As they will take it back to the 24-yard line. You still have all timeouts. Because that's a zero-yard game. Nayo stay looking to end this game in regulation. It is. Get three. You need a first down here. You don't want to go to fourth down. That's scary. It's a blitz. Picks it up. First down at the 40 yard line. Here it is. Their line is getting pushed back. Country will have to take it himself, who slides for six yards. Still in bounds. Clock still running. Gotta get it back on that field. Emif Jerry makes man's miss. Makes another man's miss. Still throws a man. Nine yard gain. You're still in bounds. Handing it off to him again. This time, nothing. Nothing! Negative one yards! It's gonna be third and 11. You need a first down to convert here. And that's six yards. That won't do much. You need this first down. And I'll say, need something to happen. He drops back. Throw away again, and then our shutdown. Now he'll stay, will survive. No way. They survived the upset, and they walk away with a win. And Roof comes up short yet again. And that is a crazy game to watch. Unreal. Hope you guys enjoyed that game. See you guys next time.